IP 7 and 0, remember how I always said we always start at 0? 0, 16, 32, 48, and so on. We start at 0, 0 32, 64, 0, 64, 128, 0, 8, 16, and so on. I always start at 0. The reason that is is this. Inside a router, you must have this command on, IP subnet dash 0. Now, if that command is not turned on, you can't start at 0. For example, if we were in the 240 mask, and started, instead of starting at 0, 16, 32, we'd start at 16, 32, 48. And we couldn't use the last mask of 240 as well. So what this does is make it so we can't use the first and the last subnet. So we wouldn't be able to, we'd have to minus 2 for our subnets, and that's a waste, waste of space. So IP subnet-0 is turned on by default, starting with 12.0. 12 Make sure it's turned on. The CCNA objectives are based on the fact that do you start at 0 or don't you? Please look for this command. It's a troubleshooting spot that you need to be aware of. If that command is not in there, you can't start at 0. Okay, one last section in this part of the module, and that is when we see a, or this is what I call the what do you know section. And this is going to help you bring everything together that we've learned so far. It is a great part, and I encourage you to go over this over and over and over again until you can say it just like I am. I'm going to have it on the screen, and I encourage you to go backwards and backwards over and over and over again. And you know what you need to do between now and the time you take your exam, if that's what you're trying to do? Do this every single day, multiple times if possible. So, if we see a slash notation, that's what we need to know. We need to be able to turn it into a mask. How many bits, the block size, how many subnets and hosts. And we're going to memorize this. And so everything we've learned so far comes down to this one section. So for example, what do I know or what do you know about a slash 25? And of course we're always talking about a class C at this point, but we will see when we get to class B and class A that we get to use the same information again over and over and over again. It does not change, so it's important to memorize this.